In this video, I'm going to show you how to install custom Wii menu themes to your Wii. All you need for this tutorial is a homebrewed Wii and an SD card or USB drive. Now before getting started, you need to download D2X CIOS installer. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, but I will link a video that I have previously made where I ran through it. But I will also link the guide for that as well. You need this in order to download the themes onto your Wii. So if you already have that done, let's get started. So if you go to the first link in the description to this Wii guide, you're going to see all this red and orange stuff. This is because it's a risky thing to do and an easy way to break your Wii. The first thing that it suggests is to install Preloader and BootMe. This is uh, gives you two levels of brick protection. It literally, no, all caps, do not continue until you have installed Preloader and BootMe. So if you want to know how to do that, I'll link those videos in the description as well. It only install themes on your Wii that have been formatted for it. And the current region, it has to be the same region as your Wii. Another warning, this is for regular Wiis only. This is not for VWii on your Wii U. So do not follow this guide if that is what you want. There's other ways to get themes for your Wii U. But basically, just be careful. Make sure you take precautions on where you download the files and make sure you have preloader and boot. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward tutorial and you'll be fine. So getting right into it, scroll down past the warnings and as you can see, it says we recommend you install CIOS before continuing. Hopefully you've already done that. But below that, just click on My Menufy Mod and Theme Me Mod. We're going to need both of these. And once you have those downloaded, just open up your storage device that you're using. I'm using an SD card, but you could be using a USB drive. And then open up the My Menufy Mod, the RAR file. Just drag the apps folder onto the root. And then if you go into your apps folder, you should see my menu five mod right here with these files. You can delete the readme text if you'd like. This is the app we're going to use to install the themes. And now we'll open the raw file for new theme me. And this one, I'm just going to drag it onto my desktop. We're going to use this to open up the program to set up the file. So go into there and just click on the theme me.exe and it should run the program. Even the program says only install themes if you have proper brick protection or you might get a brick beyond repair. So this is just another warning. If you brick your Wii, it's on you. Just make sure you take the proper precautions. Click OK and we're in the program. So now we need to go download a theme. Just go back to the page where you got my Menufy and theme me and we have theme links. Below are some links to some themes. So let's click on We Theme Team Creations V2 and brings you to GBA Temp. Just click here to see the original thread. And if you scroll down, you can see that there's a huge list of different themes you can have. If you click on it on the spoiler, you can click to see the video on YouTube. This will just give you, oh. <laughs> There's, there's no preview for that one. All right. How about the dark weed, dark blue? Click on the video. And here is the theme. So you can see what it may look like. As you can see, there's lots. There's dark, just colors. Uh, there's, there's Naruto ones. There's different anime ones. Punch Out, uh, Super Mario RPG, Luigi. There's tons of different ones. And just for the sake, let's check out the Google Drive repository. Go into Wii menu, and then you can click on 4.x if your Wii is updated to 4. Point anything. So mine's a 4.3, so I'm going to choose the 4.x. See, there's tons of different themes you can have. You know, it's kind of a paradox of choice. I don't know what to choose. So it doesn't really matter where you download them as long as it's one of the links on the official Wii guide for downloading themes. I wouldn't trust downloading them unless it's from one of these links. So from Reconnect24 themes page, Google Drive repository, or the Wii th theme team creations, the GBA temp post. So I'm just gonna download one off the Google Drive repository. So just right click on the one you want and click download. And there you go. I'm just going to drag the file onto my desktop beside the theme me 
and it should look like this. It should be a dot mym. So once you have your theme you want, open up the the program we were running, the theme me by Leth Lethal, and we're just gonna drag our theme into the program, and it should drop, and click tools, download base app and select your version of your Wii. So mine is version 4.3 for USA, so I'm gonna select that. It says type 45E to create a common key bin. So 45E, press OK. And this is just where we're gonna download it to. So I'm just gonna save it to my downloads folder. And it should be there right now. And as you can see, we got a 000097.app. That is exactly what we want. So next, go back into the program and we're gonna create CSM. So find that and click open. And it's gonna create a CSM file. I'm just gonna save it to my downloads again. It says, do you wanna save the MYM file? Just click no, we already have it. You should have your CSM file wherever you sent it. And once you have the CSM file, that's what we need. So you can exit out of the program if you aren't downloading any more themes. Do you want to save your MYM? No, you don't need to. And now you're going to pull up your SD card or USB drive, whichever one you're using. Right click on the root and create a new folder. And we're just going to call this mod themes. Make sure you spell it the same way. Otherwise, it might not be able to find them. So now we're ready to put the CSM file that we just created into that folder we made. So if you go into the folder, you should have your CSM file right there ready to be installed once we get on the Wii. So once you've followed all these steps, we're ready to go over to the Wii and install our new menu. So once you're on your Wii, meet me in the Homebrew channel and click on My Menuified Mod and load it up. And then when you get here, just click A on iOS 249. And here you're going to choose which storage device to select. I'm using an SD card, so I'm going to select press A on SD card and it should bring you here. Just click A on the theme you want to install and then it should begin. It should be pretty quick. And then when that's done, just press any button and it should take you back to the system menu. And if successful, it should not be the original theme. And it was successful. And now your Wii looks truly modded. But anyways, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and comment if you ran into any issues, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.